Join Chris and Kale for breakfast, lunch, and dinner in Charleston, South Carolina. Look at that dripping. That's like cheesy and salty and crunchy. Pretty darn good. I love, love it. Oh my gosh, look at that. Such warm happiness. Best desserts I've ever had. This is incredible. Rum based, old fashioned. Thumbs up. That is fantastic. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It's so delicious. Look at how crunchy that is. Juicy and flavorful. That is really outstanding. We visited the alluring southern town of Charleston, South Carolina and immersed ourselves in its rich history as well as the architecture that is as colorful on the outside as the stories they tell on the inside. But the southern charm goes beyond its historic roots. The city is known as a food lover's paradise, firmly planting its name on many best lists despite its modest size. A tour around the city shows us why travel and leisure list Charleston as the number one destination in the country. church so the church is you can kind of see like that. So this is our custom. This is gala. Miller's All Day is what happens when you unite passionate Southern chefs with an enviable Charleston address. They are fueled by the belief that the best days start or end with a great breakfast and a great cocktail. It's easy to understand why this eatery is the number one breakfast spot on both Yelp and TripAdvisor. Look at that dripping in the... Yeah. <laughs> Wow, that looks amazing. Where does that dog? Cheese and stuff. That's like cheesy and salty and crunchy. Pretty darn good. I love, love it. 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 I love, love it.
salty and crunchy. But I'm gonna get it to see if I can get a peek inside here. What this is gonna look like. That's looking pretty darn good. They're light and fluffy. I'm impressed. Very good. Another part of our old stopping grounds, Brown Dog Deli. Awesome lunch. Brown Dog Deli is the premier lunch destination in downtown Charleston, serving up fresh dishes in a quirky 80s themed setting. They do a wonderful job satisfying omnivores and vegans alike by serving up a variety of mouth-watering sandwiches that range from French dip to tempo rupin. Sorghum and Salt is a celebration of seasonal and regional foods with a focus on innovative plant-based small dishes. The shareable plates provide a great way to get exposed to as much of the magic that chef owner Trey Jackson has to offer, and this includes his famous meal-ending beet dessert. Red, red and buttered beets. Let's take a look at this. Look at that. I love it. This is, uh, lemon, pickled fennel. I love lemon. Let's see our carrot sculpture here. So this is the. Uh, that looks fantastic. Oh my goodness, that's a carrot. It's a very long carrot though. <laughs> the eggplant has arrived. That looks pretty good. It's, a thick, it's like an eggplant steak. <laughs> it's, it's like a, a filet cut. Alright, let's see how your steak is. It's pretty tender all the way through. Yeah. Get some. This is like scallions. I love cabbage. Cabbage is rarely done correctly, or at least the way I like it. So I get excited when I think of it. Oh yeah, it's in. It's in correctly. It's so good. Can you taste the blue oh, cheese? Oh so savory. It's crunchier on thought, yeah, but it's still, it's not overdone. It's so it's still, it's still got a, a good texture, so good. I mean, it is, and it's in a tart shell. Is it really? Yeah, that's what it's that in is? A tart oh, that is what Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Well, that's so not what I was dessert. expecting. <laughs> there you go, there's your dessert mushroom tart. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's kind of sexual. <laughs> it is, is it? I don't need dessert. Describe right. it. It's like, it's like warm happiness. Warm happiness in a little so high good. shell. It's so good. <laughs> the tart with some fruit on it, I expect it to be sweet, but it's just a tinge of sweet and still has that earthy mushroom flavor to it. And two different competing tastes and stuff, but it comes out in this fantastic fashion. Very good. Yeah. It's so good. It's your happy plate. It's of course, here's mine. plate is happy. Very nice. So this is this is uh, uh, compliments of the, of the restaurant. The, the beef 
beets, dessert with blackberries and dulce de leche on the bottom. I am, I'm really excited about this. I can't wait. Isn't that nice? Here it is. I don't know how the beets are creamy. It's creamy, and that dulce de leche is just, like, it's not overwhelming. It's just a hint at the bottom and the blackberries. This is phenomenal. It's no wonder why this is a staple. They said that ever since they opened, this is the one thing that has remained on the menu since they opened. And I see why. This is, this is phenomenal. This is probably the best. The best dessert I've ever had. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. The Ordinary occupies a 1920s bank building and delivers upscale locally sourced seafood from James Beard award winner Mike Lotta. One of GQ and Esquire's top new restaurants back in 2013. This place still astonishes customers by serving up to die for plates, such as their succulent oysters and one of the country's best lobster rolls. This is a rum-based old-fashioned. It's fantastic. I, 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 their, their bar is, is a, a rum bar, and so you have a lot of the uh, influences of, of rum-based drinks and stuff, and I almost shied away from that, almost got a beer, but this rum old-fashioned is, is fantastic. Simply put, Husk is legendary. It is within this Queen Street historic home that James Beard Award winner chef Sean Brock puts his innovative contemporary spin on traditional southern dishes. Named one of the most influential restaurants in the last 30 years, Husk applies farm-to-table principles to their low country cuisine. And this includes their famous cast iron cornbread that you must try.
little salad here. Oh yeah. Both gonna be sharing this cornbread here. Look at this though. But do you think oh it's my gosh, look at that. Look at how crunchy that is on. That looks awesome. Happy play. FIG is an acronym for Chef Mike Lada's effort to prove that food is good. And while USA Today has placed Husk as the number two restaurant in foodie-driven Charleston, it is FIG that has secured the top spot. Lada and FIG blaze the trail of local sourcing and seasonal creative menus. Getting reservations can be a challenge, as we can attestify from our latest trip. But the effort is worthwhile, even if a late night seat at the bar is all you can muster. joining us for breakfast, lunch, and dinner in Charleston, South Carolina. Thanks for watching. We hope this gets you excited about getting out and exploring on your own. Click to the right to subscribe. Click to the left for more adventures.